Hello, my name's Lynn Stone. I'm a London-based children's book illustrator and today I'm going to give you some tips on how to draw. First of all, we're going to work in pencil to start with. Um, we are going to have some colouring pencils, which are water-based colouring pencils, a brush, some water and a rubber. So the first shape we need to make is the eye of the wave, which is a small shape like this with a few flicks in the corner like this. And then we're going to draw some lines coming off this. We're going to draw a large one along the bottom like this first. And then some radiating lines out from that, which is the wall of the wave we're starting to create. Okay. Next we need to add in the foam of the wave as it falls over the top. And you can use small sort of circular, semicircular marks to indicate this. Like so, coming up here like this. All right. Maybe a few dots indicating splashes of water. Okay, next we need to draw, if you like, the floor of the sea in, because at the moment it's floating in midair. So we, we draw that in, and then we create some smaller waves within that, because obviously that, there's a lot of movement in here going on. Okay, so that's our basic and then, we, then I want to, to draw along the top a little bit. Again, keep them short and curvy in shape. That's to indicate the top of the wave. Next, we're going to apply some colour. I'm going to start with a, a darker colour. And um, we're going to uh, apply that. OK, now I'm going to add different colour. And I shall probably add more colour after I've added the initial water because I might, you know, need to make adjustments. Okay. Now at the moment there's very little to see. Um, it's once you apply the water that you start to see some shaping. So just... And again with the brush you're mirroring that curving shape of the eye. Like so. And yep, I'm definitely going to add a bit more colour in here. I'm going to add more to the foreground to start with. Like so. Again, all the marks I'm making are following the shape of that wave. Now I'm going to go over some of my original pencil marks and make them a little bit stronger because we've kind of lost the shaping of the wave a little bit in all our colouring in. And I'm just going over it in coloured pencil actually. I'm going to leave mine clear as though it's the sky coming through because I think it will work quite well in this instance. I'm going to add a few more, a few more frothy waves to my design. Like so. And then to kind of frame the image, I would put a pencil mark around it. And there is your basic wave.